NJRoute22.com here with a weekly supermarket roundup for December 7th. Uh, most of these sales start on December 7th. Uh, ShopRite goes till, uh, I mean, starts on the 9th of um, December. So keep that in mind, okay? We're going to try and blast through this real quick. Uh, about the only thing I thought was good at King's this week, and by the way, I'll remind you, we only shop here for convenience and buying things that are only on sale. Um, they have a really good deal on the White Cloud paper towels and toilet paper. In our opinion, they're our favorite uh, paper towel and products and toilet paper products right now, and, and they're the cheapest price you'll ever get. $12.99 for two which means they're $6.49 a pack. They've never been cheaper uh, anywhere else, including ShopRite. The best I ever got at ShopRite was $6.99. And I think that's all there was in, in uh, oh, one last thing. Kings, uh, we think their prepared food is pretty good. I wonder if anybody's ever used their catering. I, I don't know how the prices stack up. They're usually, you know, 10 or 20% in line with each other. I'm wondering if it's uh, worth it to try their little chicken Wellington puffs or mini Franks in a blanket. That's something to think about. Uh, IGA, we, um, I didn't flip through it this week. We shop here, I'll remind you, because they're local and we want them to stay in business. Uh, they have convenient items and, and very good prepared food. Uh, but this week, just off the home page here, I think they have a good deal on uh, chicken thighs, the best cut of uh, chicken you can get. And they have a good deal on uh, avocados as well. A buck. Don't ever pay more than a buck. Aldi has them for 50 cents sometimes. Odd lot, I want to, rem job lot, Ocean State job lot. I want to remind you that um, the crazy deals are a very, 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 very good thing. Just remember to buy things you need or can use or can gift to somebody and, and you'll make out. Don't buy something that you probably don't want or need just because it, there's a good deal on it. It's stupid. Um, maybe some people are flipping these things on, uh, on eBay uh, to try and make some money. Uh, there's a, there is a possibility for some of these things to, to make some of your money back and just get free things. But never buy anything that's, uh, that you don't need. It's just truly a waste of time. And I forget if there was something else in here that I... Oh, I wanted to see these. These are Fusion Forged Knives. They look pretty high quality. I, I was at the store today and I didn't check them out. I am going to check them out the next time I go back, either um, this week, sometime this weekend. Uh, never, can't hurt to have a good knife, uh, even though we have our those high-end German knives. We don't shop at Stop and Shop. We just can't seem to get bring them into the fold. Um, they, they appear to have some good deals sometimes and they very... Ah, I'm not going to talk about them. Let's talk about shop right here real quick. I guess uh, now that holidays are coming around, uh, they have filet mignon, which is just another way of saying beef tenderloin, on sale. They have like three, three or three or four different filet mignons on sale. They're, they're the most expensive and but yet most tender cut of meat you can get. And they have their uh, USDA whole beef tenderloins, uh, six to eight pounds. So you're paying like sixty to eighty dollars a pack of these uh, standard run of the mill. And they have this, this is on sale here. I don't like Nature's Reserve. Uh, it's from Australia and they definitely have a different taste. And some have argued uh, to the contrary that the different taste is how meat's supposed to taste compared to American meat. And the jury's out for us on that. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just not used to it. Uh, I mean, some people say that about eating uh, venison or, you know, I, I, I guess everything is an acquired taste. Another thing we notice is that uh, they bring out the holiday stuff, you know, sugar and, and morsels and chocolate. It's, uh, are they appealing to people's uh, desires or are they somehow uh, uh, nudging them and controlling them in a way as well? I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, I didn't see anything too fantastic and, and every week I talk about this, the, the fresh mutts and ricotta cheese, okay? It just seems like they're taking turns. Each, each week a new brand gets it. If it's Belgioso or Galbani, just buy the ones that are on sale is basically what they're telling you. Um, 
And of course the shop right and all these various cheeses are also on sale again this week. But just a week or two ago they had the block, the ShopRite chunk cheese, which is very good uh, for 99 cents. And I got some rain checks so I can get like eight blocks of cheese uh, for the price of four. Uh, it's just something that, that you want to get rain checks, especially if you see like those block cheeses sold out fast. Just get, get rain checks even if you don't uh, plan on using it that week, you'll, you'll have the savings for a future date. Um, like I said, you know, it's all about chocolate. Look at all these chocolates. Ferrar, Ferrero chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. I mean, I guess, yeah, it's good for giving gifts, but why is everybody shoveling chocolate extra? It's like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then everybody buys gym memberships in uh, January, which they stop using three weeks later. It's like this vicious cycle of um, eating because the holiday tells you to eat, which is, which is bizarre. Um, it's very bizarre. A lot of people uh, are starting to break out of that cycle of, of seasonal eating, but um, I would say a good majority, 70 to 85 percent of the country just just follows along and eats what's uh, what's seasonally uh, uh, predicted or expected. I don't know. I mean, you can hear I have a very conservative viewpoint on on many things, including food and what and the products that are uh, available in, in mass. And I think that's it. Oh, they, they got a good deal on this Miss Myers, uh, Mrs. Myers uh, cleaners. I mean, that's not a good deal, but it's cheaper than normal, and those are those are good cleaning products. And here's a, I think, an exceptional deal. Actually, it's the uh, Reynolds Wrap, the massive uh, roll. It's like almost half price, and it's normally like ten bucks or, or more for the big 200 square f uh, foot. Um, that's on sale this week. For, uh, for a very good price. So if you, if you want to stock up on that, that now is a good time to do that if you have extra money and you're not, uh, don't have space or if you have space. And I say no flu shot. I haven't had a flu shot in two decades and I have not had the flu. Go figure. I'm sure somebody's gonna wanna quarantine me one day and put me in some sort of bin because I didn't get the, the medicine, the little brain altering medicine they want, uh, want you to get. Your body, your body's own immune system is what you want to uh, to focus on, not not some medicines. And I don't know they got all their little various toys and half price batteries. You always keep an eye on that type of stuff. I say rechargeable batteries. Buy the nickel metal hydride. Amazon um, basics are, are perfectly good, and you'll get 500 charges or more out of them for. Uh, and it comes out to being like like. 120th the price over time. And that's it for this week. Seven minutes and 55 seconds with my intros and all that other stuff. Um, have a nice weekend and enjoy the upcoming holiday season as it ramps up into full gear.